I'm mad because I done sweat in my roots. My roots. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> so this is like days later. I'm getting my morning started, drinking my peppermint tea. But just wanted to pop in. Braces is still bracing. I got an appointment on Tuesday to get them tightened. So the journey is journeying, y'all. Like I'm excited to get my teeth together. If you know, you know, baby. I've been, I'm not a smeller with like teeth. If I smell, it's always. So, yeah. Now, who wants my TV is straight and we looking like something, baby. I'm going to be. <laughs> no gaps. But anyways, talk to y'all in a bit. I am going to the grocery store today. Think I want to go to the mall. I'm not sure. I know for sure I'm going to the store because I need to go to the grocery store. I have nothing in my refrigerator. So, I don't know. We vibing today. Let's just vibe. Hey, y'all. I'll be... <laughs> We at a hundred percent. We are fully charged. But I wasn't doing nothing but just working. I was on FaceTime with my mom. I need y'all in my business, my work business. But I was on FaceTime with my mom just talking. My sister, uh, she used to like kind of babysit my sister kids for a while until she got this new position at a job she working in now. So uh, my sister, she's able to put them in back in daycare and everything, but my mama was like, girl, I feel kind of lost. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hold on, let me put y'all on the stand. I hate holding the camera and trying to talk because I feel like I'm so shaky, you know? So hold on. But yeah, I was on FaceTime with my mama and we was just talking. And she just like, girl, I don't know what to do with myself right now. <laughs> she basically don't know what to do with herself since the kids ain't there no more. She was like, it's just a little too quiet. <laughs> Uh, but she been doing good. She been like going to work out and stuff in the morning, her and my dad. So they had just came back from the gym and she was just like, well, I guess I'm going to just take a shower and go lay down. I'm just like, you don't know what to do with yourself now. Now that you ain't got to watch no kids, girl. But yeah, I got to get my skin back together, y'all. You see, this is from wearing wigs. As you know, I have a really big forehead, so I'm trying to embrace the forehead. <laughs> So, yeah, I have this weird discoloration line from, like, where I place my wig. You know, my hairline is back here. But, um, I would place, this is where I would, so I would never put my wig on my hairline. This is where I would, like, station my wig just to kind of camouflage my forehead a little bit. I've always had a huge forehead. Always had a huge forehead. So, when I discover frontals and all that stuff, I was just like, ah. And I think that's why I really fell in love with wearing wigs. And also because my hair is just naturally thin. I just, it just never gave for me when I wear my hair. So that's why I, it was just like, a, it's a, it's an addiction. Once you start wearing frontals and all that stuff, it's literally like an addiction, y'all. Like, so I'm trying to wear myself off of that addiction. I don't know what that was. I'm trying to wear myself off of that addiction of wearing wigs all the time. And I will say it does feel nice to kind of just have your scalp breathing. You can scratch your head. It's not as itchy. But I do feel like I'm going to start an addiction of wearing these clippings. I know for a fact that's going to start back. Because like I stated, you know, I um I wore clippings in high school. Like that was my thing to like make my hair fuller. Because I used to model and stuff. Like do stuff locally for like hair shows and like... We had this thing called Little Rock Fashion Week back home. So I used to do like a lot of stuff just around the city. So uh, this one white girl, let me not just say white, this one girl, <laughs> she put me on basically. Because you know, them people, they be knowing some tips and tricks to make your hair fuller. So of course I tried wearing sew-ins, but sew-ins just, I never was a huge fan of wearing sew-ins. I hated sew-ins, I still do. I feel like because my hair is so thin and when it's braided down and then when you sew on my hair, it just damages, like it just, it does too much damage to my hair because it's so soft. But, um, she, I was doing like a photo shoot for like this bridal magazine back home. It's called Arkansas Bride. I was on the cover and I had a little five page spread. Like your girl was, I was, I was tea back then. Your girl was that girl back in the 2010s and 11s. Even 2009. Was I modeling in 2009? I think so. I was doing like hair shows. But in 2010, 
that's when I did my first spread. I was doing magazine. I was doing like more photo shoots and fashion shows. Like I was really lit just a little bit, but I was still quiet. Like people knew me, but didn't know me if that makes sense. But anywho, I was doing the uh, Arkansas bride thing or whatever. And she put me on. She was like, oh, we can't. Cause I came with like my hair just freshly washed and flat iron. I did it myself. This was around time. Like I started doing my own hair like in the 11th grade. So 2010, yeah, I was in the 11th grade in high school. I was started doing my own hair. Um, so I washed it and blow dried it and flat on it that night. And then that next morning I got up to go and she was just like, oh, your hair is so nice. It's so long. Cause I've already, back then my hair was already long. Like I used to have really super long hair, natural hair, but it was just thin. Like my hair was just super thin. So she was like, oh, you know about clippings? I'm like, mm -mm. she was like, yeah, we have like different styles. Like they had like a galore of hair, like different colors, different styles. So they had like some dark black clippings and she put them in and I'm just like what you tell me I could have been wearing clippings so yeah that's how my love started and ever since then I was wearing clippings all the way up until I got introduced to wearing you part wigs. I started out by wearing you part wigs when I uh when I moved to Atlanta because I was watching a video and this girl she had like some bundles or whatever and she made a you part wig so hair companies around then like they started reaching out to me and stuff. So that's when, you know, getting free hair, which is all crazy. Like you wasn't really worried about getting paid. I didn't really care to get paid. I just wanted the free hair. <laughs> so that was around the time. So this company sent me some hair and I ended up making a U-part wig. So that's how I got addicted to wearing U-part wigs. But my hair started thinning from like sewing it, you know. So then once wigs started coming around, you, you, you get introduced to frontals and stuff. You be like, hmm. So yeah, yeah, that's how I started, y'all. I done gave y'all a whole rundown of my hair journey. <laughs> because before I got into wearing um the U part wigs, I was wearing my natural hair for a minute. So no, I was doing the U part wigs and then I stopped wearing the U part wigs because I noticed like my hair was looking crazy. So I wore my I took a picture of my curly puff. That's when I had like some color and stuff in my head. And that went viral. My sleep bun went viral because they loved my edges and stuff like that. Like, I still got little edges, but we got to grow her back. You see, it's like a little ball spot right there, girl. But, but anyway, that's, that's just a little rundown of my hair journey. So now I'm kind of getting back into another hair journey, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm just rambling now. But I like talking to y'all. I feel like I'm on FaceTime sometimes when I just be babbling. Like, I'm talking to my friends. So I consider y'all my friends. Hopefully you consider me a friend too, bro. Hopefully this vlog is interesting. I know my vlog is not the best, honey, because either I'm sitting down talking like this or it's a bunch of random, a bunch of nothing, basically. Because <laughs> I just be randomly doing things. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to stop talking again. I'm about to go into this meeting and then, yeah, we'll go to the grocery store. I'm challenging myself to, like, just carry my camera, even though it's bulky. I hate walking around with a bulky camera, but I'ma, I'ma just bring it. Fuck it, I'ma just bring it. Y'all, oh my God, the way I was just struggling to get into this apartment complex, oh my God. I'm mad because I done sweated my roots, my roots. <laughs> but anyways, I went to the grocery store, y'all. And I went to Trader Joe's and I went to Whole Foods. Sorry about the off lighting. If you know, you know. This shit. Trash. Lighting, trash. But, went to Trader Joe's. I think I want to do a food haul of everything that I got because it is just me. And maybe I should. Should I do it like this? Because I feel like you won't. Or maybe I should stand y'all up. That don't work either. Oh my lord. Nothing's working. Okay, this might work. Sorry if y'all look crooked. If y'all look crooked, if y'all on one of my old tripods, but went to the grocery store. I went to the first stop, I went to Trader Joe's because that was a little bit further. I'm a snack girl. Got some of this popcorn right here. Oh, I got it upside down. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway. 
I got some of this popcorn, y'all, from Trader Joe's. It's Trader Joe's popcorn. It's a sour cream and onion flavored corn chip. So, I'm a snacker. That's my thing. And that's my problem, too. I'm a huge snacker. Like, I love chips. I love all kinds of stuff. But I try to find, like, a little healthier choices. You know what I'm saying? Oh, excuse me. I think this one is, like, gluten-free and... Yeah, it's gluten free. So that's a plus, right? Okay. I got some more green tea. I got some arugula for my arugula salad that I like to make. I really love the arugula and Trader Joe's. Um, I also got some of these micro organic plants that I like to uh, splash in there as well. Uh oh. Um, I got some salmon, wild caught aqua. I got some apples. Lemon because I love to put lemon on my salad and on my salmon when I cook it. Got some red peppers and I got a cucumber for a good snack. Some feta cheese crumbles. I got my goddess dressing, some more because I ate up the other one. <laughs> and oh lord, this is probably. I got some of these dumplings that I wanted to try, so I may cook some of these in a little bit, but right now I'm just going to snack because I'm hungry right now and I don't feel like waiting on nothing. But I got some of these viral dumplings that I've seen on TikTok that a lot of people be getting, so I'm going to try them. Not too sure. And I got some honey for like my tea and ooh, for my avocado toast and everything like that. So that's that from Trader Joe's, and I only spent uh, $40 on all of this, so not too shabby, not too bad. Now let's move on to the big guns. You know Whole Foods, be Whole Foods. Be whole. Oh, I got these from Trader Joe's. I got some bananas from Trader Joe's, too. But from Whole Foods, I got some watermelon that I'm about to crack open right now. I also got another assorted fruit. It's like kiwi and strawberry. I got this for later. I don't know. Do I want some now? No, I'm going to wait. I got this for later. It's a strawberry parfait. So after I cook my dinner for tonight, which I'm only going to have like a salad and a salmon, slab of salmon. But I'm going to eat a little bit of this. I'm going to try not to eat, eat it all at once. But this is really, really good. They're strawberry parfaits at Trader Joe's. I mean, at Whole Foods. What else in here? Oh, I got some asparagus and avocado. That's from that bag. I try to like, cause Whole Foods bags be ripping. So I be trying to like split it up. But I got some multi-seed bread, like a multi-grain bread. For my avocado toast. Some uh black, some blackberries, which are really, really good. I love, love, love these. Um, some shrimp that they had on sale. So I can make like some shrimp and rice and asparagus one night or some shrimp and potatoes, you know. Um, I got some eggs, and now we have for that bag. <laughs> this is a really big grocery haul for just one person, but I like to eat, so I just wanted to make sure I had something to snack on for this whole weekend because I'm trying. Sorry if it just got dark. I'm trying to refrain from. Can you see? I'm trying to refrain from buying fast food, so yeah. That's why I bought all of this. I'm so sorry that this one got dark. Just be hating on us. Be hating. Anyways. Sorry if y'all cricket again, but yeah, so. And on to the last bag, y'all can still see. I got some brown rice. I got some plain Greek yogurt for like my yogurts in the morning. Cause I got some flax seeds that I like to put inside of there. You know, good hill, good hill. <laughs> I got some maple almond granola from Whole Foods for my yogurt. Because I'm going to put blackberries, honey, granola, everything in there. And <clears throat> I got some coconut curry chicken soup. It's really good. So good from Whole Foods. So, and you know what? I did all of this. And didn't even get no fucking bottled water like I planned on doing. But you know what? I think when I get off work, I'm gonna...
maybe go to Kroger because they have like a huge like 42 pack that I like to get the Kroger brand. So it is what it is. I was gonna get some water while I was at Whole Foods, like so get two of those, but my dumb tail didn't even get a fucking buggy. I got the little hand basket thing because I was thinking like I need to hurry up and get home so I can clock back in. I'm, I'm only on my lunch break, you know? But anyways, y'all, that is my grocery haul. This is all for one person. But this will last me for like a good couple of days, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is a really good haul. I'm fairly healthy, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm a huge snacker and I've been eating a bunch of fast food here these last couple of weeks, honey. Ugh. So I'm kind of trying to like restart, purge, all that good stuff. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to put these groceries up and I'm about to snack. Probably watch a little TV for a little bit just to kind of unwind before I have to clock. Well, I already clocked back in, but before I have to, because I only got like two things on my thing. So it's not, they're not important or urgent cases. So as long as I get them done before I clock out, which will happen. But yeah, yeah, let's put these groceries in. All right, so we are in for tonight and I am having a soup and salad type of night. I didn't really feel like cooking, cooking. So this is the chicken curry uh, soup from Whole Foods. And y'all, it's so freaking good. If you have not tried any of their soups, y'all should definitely check them out. They have like all kinds, but this chicken curry one, I haven't really tried anything else other than this though. But this right here, baby, really, really good. And I made an arugula salad and I have like uh, the guy that Trader Joe's got his dressing. I got to stir it up and mix it up with feta cheese crumbles um red bell pepper and cucumber and i think i may put a little lemon juice on top of this as well i'm not sure because this is pretty tangy anyway so it should be all good once we stir it up but yes this is my dinner for tonight because in the morning i'm gonna get up early we're gonna go walking we're gonna go to katie trail get some sunlight run a couple of errands because i need to go pick up my vitamin d prescription because you really got low vitamin d <laughs> so I gotta go pick up my prescription and yeah that's what tonight is I don't really have much to show I'm about to sit up here and finish watching Supercell I really really like it if you have not seen this on Netflix it's about these people from like the south side of London like from the hood and stuff like that and they kind of figure out that they got superpowers y'all it's pretty lit like i it kind of i didn't know it was going to be something of that nature when first putting it on but as i'm watching it i'm just like this is pretty good my boyfriend didn't really like it that much because of like the accent he said it's, it's kind of hard to keep up but i put the subtitles on because with me when i watch anything i have to have subtitles on so yeah y'all that's what i'm about to do that's what you hear in the background I'm about to unwind some more, eat my soup and salad. I wish I would have bought some wine. I didn't, but it's okay. I don't need to drink this weekend. But yeah, I'm going to unwind. Happy Friday night. <laughs> Go walking, honey. Woo! I'm still a little sleepy because my dumb ass was up all night. I'm watching fucking TikToks because I'm stupid. My ass was wide awake after watching Supercell. I finished the whole series last night, y'all. It was so stinking good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> but we gotta get this walking. We gotta get it in, friend. Yeah. I'm trying to give myself energy. That's why I'm doing all these little stupid dance moves. Hold on. <laughs> Yes, you guys, it is the next day, honey. And I love waking up in the morning. Thank you, Lord, for another day, another opportunity at this thing called life. That's like my little prayer I like to say every single morning. Bless everyone that's around me, from my family to my boyfriend to his family. Help everyone, guide everyone. Um, just I just want everyone to be great. Everybody in the world, my friends, everybody, honey. But, um... I said, see, I've been watching too much. He can't. That's what it is. <laughs> but I still be like my family talk like that anyways. But it's gotten extra hard since watching he can't because she always be like, okay, it's taking it, honey. Okay, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know. I know she said some crazy mess about some skin tone bull crap. But you know who doesn't say some wild stuff? But that was pretty wild though. 
Like you a huge influencer. Like you got four million people following you, and you thought to say some bullshit like that, like that. I can talk about this situation because it's dead and gone. It done came in and went, honey. But uh, but like I was saying, like me and my family talk like that, anyways. We be saying like honey bun and you know, cause we real country. I'm from Arkansas. If I haven't mentioned it a thousand times already. <laughs> I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. We're pretty much some country bumpkins, honey. Like, we used it all the time. Especially my grandma when she was a live girl. She would always be like, hey, honey. Hey, honey, bud. So, <laughs> yes, y'all. I was sweating so bad in my sleep. And I just knew when I wake up, my hair was going to be an afro. Because I'm like, why am I sweating? Like, see, it's a couple of strands that I got a little puffy. But I took my clips out last night. So this is my new length with the black hair. I know every time when I show my hair, I always have on like dark colors. I don't know why I do that. But what I'm about to do, just to preserve honey, <clears throat> we're going to pull her back in a low bun, a low bun bun, and wrap it around because... I need to keep her straight <laughs> for as long as I can. Like, I don't mind. What about to say? I don't mind that it gets a little frizzy at the roots because I can always, you know, hit it with the flat irons or whatever. But, but I'm really trying to avoid that as long as I can because after I go work out and stuff, I'm going to give me some matcha. Uh huh. And I need to go pick up my prescription before it just get unbearably hot outside. I am so sleepy, y'all. It's crazy. I can't even. I ain't gonna even. I'm not gonna yay, okay? I'm not gonna yay. Um, your girl is tight for real. Okay, hopefully, just keep my bun bun up. been a minute since I had to do a little bun bun. Um, do I want to slick my edges down? Because it ain't going to do nothing but curl up. So I'm just like, should I even worry about? Oh, y'all see, see y'all see the difference. That's why I got to calm down on wearing my wigs, girl. We got to get the frontals, at least the frontals, like the full frontals. I gotta give them a rest. So I think I'm gonna go to like just a maybe like a little four by four or a two by two. I don't know. I probably just need to leave it alone, period. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, y'all see it. You see how this side is just like retracted more than this side. You see it, don't you? I, I know you do. I know you do. But I think I'm gonna slick my edges down just a little bit so they don't get too curly. So if they wave up, it won't be more, it won't be like a puff, if that makes sense. So, I'm gonna go to Katie Trail this morning and walk, girl. The outfit, I don't know if you all will be able to see it because I'm such a tall specimen. <laughs> Why did I say it? I don't know, but I got on these Nike shorts. They are so cute. These are like my favorite shorts to wear. Your girl done lost weight because I think I'm gonna put a before picture right here. I don't know if I really want to though. But I was a little thick delicious when this year started. You feel me? Like, I was a little. She was a little thick, honey. But, anywho, I'm just happy that I'm seeing progress. Like, I was, when I started the year off, I was at 195. Your girl was almost 200 pounds. And I'm like, mm-mm. I ain't had no kids. I ain't had nothing. It was basically a food baby, baby. <laughs> Your girl was having a food, baby, because all I was doing was just eating junk food. And if you know, you know. Or well, if you know me, I'm a huge snack eater. Like, if I can survive off of just eating chips and Debbie cakes and just all that dumb stuff. That's what I was doing. And, you know, of course, I was cooking crazy and I wasn't really, like, sticking to it. I, I hate calling it diets, but I wasn't sticking to, like, I'm going to just say clean eating. I wasn't eating clean like I would normally do before because all last year I ain't gonna lie like after I had my physical last year after I had my physical last year the woman was like oh my god like your numbers 
they're perfect. Like you, you know, you whatever you doing, just keep doing it. Like you doing really good. My vitamin D wasn't low. I wasn't thought of as a pre-diabetic. Like, but I'm a little nervous because my doctor's appointment is on Monday for my three month checkup, and I'm just hoping and praying that she does not. That I haven't had a spike or any other numbers are all for out of whack. I always be nervous, y'all. I'm such a nervous person when it comes to like health. I hate being that being that way, if that makes sense. Cause even the slightest thing that is like off with me, I'm like, I need to go to the doctor. I'm making an appointment. I need to go get it checked out. And my boyfriend and my mama, like my family know me, like. Growing up, I was your typical hypochondriac. That's what my grandma used to call me all the time. She said, you ain't nothing but a little hypochondriac, girl. You got to calm down with that. And I'm just like, Granny, no, because what? Why hurt? Why do I hurt? What's this real weird spike? I got bit by mosquitoes. Because, like, when I get bit by mosquitoes, that shit be looking like, I don't know. Because once it flare up and it get red and all that crap, it be looking like I done got bit by something else, honey. Like anything that bites me from a spider, I got stung by a bee one time. It was just nasty work. It was just like, ugh. So I used to always freak out whenever I get mosquito bites, whenever like I'm hurting. Because right now, the palm of my hand is hurting and I'm not understanding why. But I, now I know I was carrying groceries the other day when I went to the grocery store. And I was telling y'all I was trying to open that back thing. My hand on the because the handle was weird on the back door for this complex. My hand, I don't know, I guess when I was trying to open the knob, I guess I was holding it too tight or pulling too hard. I don't know. So I bruised my hand a little bit. <laughs> I bruised my hand a little bit. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go walking. I'm not bringing my camera. I'm going to try to get some shots on my phone. If I don't, then <laughs> sorry. But yeah, let me go walking. Run a couple errands. I may bring my camera and just leave it in the car. And then pull it out once I'm done. So I may do that, honestly. But yeah, y'all, let's go. Woo wee! Yes, y'all. Oh my gosh. Whew, I guess my edges did okay. So putting the edge control did kind of help. Keep it a little straight, y'all. Oh my god. I am tired. I walked this whole trail. Literally. I got here like around nine something. What time is it now? It is eleven thirteen. So it takes a good two hours to complete this whole trail, Katy Trail. But I feel good. I feel dirty though. Like it was so much stuff like flying around. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, my back is on fire. My lower back is on fire, but we gotta keep it moving. So now that we finally got that goal hit for today, we we completed Katy Trail. I walked it back and forth. So that's a good thing. So now I'm going to go to Walgreens because I need to pick up my prescription. And what else I need to get? I guess I'll just give me a big old bottle of water from there just to last me for today. And I'm going to go home and make me like an avocado toast and an egg. Like I just need something to eat because I'm starving. Oh, and I was when I was walking on the trail, it was a... um. It was a lady out there. She was like a chef, I guess you could say. And she'd make like... Of course, she like cook food and stuff, but she also do like a lot of detox waters and like wellness shots and stuff. So she had like a bunch of samples of wellness shots. So I got one of those and I also bought um, a detox water from her. It was like $6, but I'm like, you know, whatever. I'm supporting the girlies. I'm supporting black, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was surprisingly, it was a lot of people out there today. I don't normally, maybe because it's Saturday. I don't normally come out to Katie Trail on saturday i always come on sunday but um it was kind of cool it was a man out there selling french bulldogs oh my god i want one so bad i really want a cobble poo but walking by them damn french bulldogs really made me be like uh i want a french bulldog but they were so cute and little and tiny and just hyper they were so cute but this was a good walk like i really really enjoyed it i took my time i think that's why it took longer than what it needed to because of course i was speed walking and then it was some instances where i was just like you know what i'm gonna pace it because my back i don't know i probably need to get stretched out real good but my lower back was on fire but anywho let's go ahead and make our way to wally greens i almost said wally world but that's walmart <laughs> So we're going to go to Walgreens, 
pick up the prescription. And then we're gonna go home and cook some, y'all. I'm hungry. Good morning, good people. I look crazy, honey. So today's actually the next day. <laughs> when I tell y'all I was pooped from yesterday's walk, when I told y'all I got to the Katy Trail like around, what was it, like nine something, like early nine o'clock. And I did not leave that trail till like almost 11.30. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Your girl is pooped, okay? And now I'm about to, you know, if I'm working out, I guess even when still wearing my hair in a low bun bun, my hair still will freeze up pretty bad. So I'm about to, it's only just around the part where the bun was stationed. I thought, and I left the bun in my head for like a long time before I took it down. So I thought maybe it would dry up before I did that, but I guess not. <laughs> So I'm about to like do a quick pass through on my hair and I'm about to reapply my clip-ins again because today, even though this morning I'm doing a quick house clean, I'm doing a quick house clean, I'm going to vacuum, I'm going to mop, I'm going to load the dishwasher, load the washer with some clothes that need to be washed and you know just get the house smelling good, looking good because I'm, mm -mm, I don't like a messy house, I'm going to clean up my makeup station because it's been like that for a week disgusting so i'm gonna get that together i don't know if i really want to court record a cleaning process of this video because i'm literally just gonna be doing a bunch of like nothing if that makes sense so i have to find my small comb my hair is starting to look a little greasy too so i'm definitely going to do it do i even have any dry shampoo i'm definitely gonna need the dry shampoo like especially up here so I'm going to wear my clip-ins for like a couple more days, maybe like three more days. And then after that, I'm probably just going to be wearing a low bun until he is really, really disgusting. And then the process starts over, y'all. It's nothing really new to it, but yeah, y'all. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to do my hair. Oh, and I am today, though. I will bring y'all along when I do that. I do want to try this food truck that I've been following on Instagram um, called Bell's Sweet Factory. I don't know why it's called Sweet Factory, cause they sell like Cajun food. But I do want to pull up on their food truck today if they are out today. So, cause they food be looking so good. So that would be a little side mission for today. So we back in action, guys. Got the clips back in the head, looking like a sew-in. Uh, I sprayed some shampoo, dry shampoo in my hair, so it's not as greasy. It kind of helped a little bit, but it can be better. Not gonna lie. See, I've been picking on my face. I have to stop doing that dumb stuff. But anyways, y'all. I'm about to straighten up my house. Get it looking like something. And then by the time lunch. Or do I want a hamburger? I just love hamburgers, y'all. I can eat hamburgers all the time. I really want a that. That's what we doing. I would go to that food truck, but no. I don't know where they're gonna be at. Sometimes they be in Fort Worth. Sometimes they be like far out. And... I don't know. It just depends on where they are. Sometimes they be in Arlington, which ain't too far. But honestly, I want a good hamburger. I think I'm going to make a field trip to Davis Burgers. Not Davis Burgers, but uh, Five Guys. I'm tripping. Five Guys. They built the Five Guys right next to my bank that I bank with. So I'm like, hmm, I'm going to do that. So you know what? I really want a burger. I'm such a burger girl. Give me a good burger and I'm happy. Ooh, I love hamburger. Like a good, real smashed, good hamburger. But anyways, let me get started because if I don't, this house will never get clean. It's not like it's just a, a complete mess. I just need to straighten up the couch, put the covers up, load the dishwasher, straighten my room up, clean off my vanity, sweep the floor, vacuum the floor, vacuum the little carpets. Yeah, and that's it. Braces. Still braces. <laughs> I don't think I did a close up of my mouth, but as you see, I got like a huge gap on this side of my mouth. So that's what I'm trying to close. It's already a little progress. Cause at her, that tooth used to go all the way in there and it was no spacing. So my teeth shifted a little bit. 
So these two don't even go all the way up no more. And then of course my bottom teeth. Braces life. So yeah, I'm gonna try to vlog the journey of that too. So you guys can see that, see, see the change in my mouth, honey. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just push this behind my ear. All right, y'all. So we, I just left the mom. And of course I bought like three things from Zara, but instead of getting them silver Steve Madden shoes I was talking about, I ended up getting these coach ones that I've been eyeing since forever. So luckily they had them inside of the store in my size. So it, it, it's like the best of both worlds. I ended up uh, getting the silver and white one so or metallic what they called it but i'm so excited i'm about to put these on right now y'all now i'm about to go ahead and get me a cheeseburger because i'm like freaking starving I, I was like let me get up out this fucking mall <laughs> because i will probably be in there shopping all day but i wasn't even supposed to go inside of zara but i ended up going anyways Cause they still had a little sale going on but they also put out some more new stuff so i'm super excited about the purchases i got i got like two tank tops and i've been wanting a pair of like trouser pants sorry if it's a little dark but i've been wanting like a pair of trouser pants um for the longest because i really do like that style with like some sneakers so i think the trouser pants trouser pants that i got will look really good with these sneakers so super stoked about that and yeah so now i'm gonna put in my gps five guys honey because i am starving i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna yay and like as soon as i walked inside the coach store like i know you gotta make your sales of the day but this black girl was hounding my ass y'all she was making sure i buy something up out of there because i'm like no i'm just browsing i'm just browsing because a part of me was like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spend i'm not gonna get them shoes today but then another part of me was like I'm gonna go ahead and get them because I've been wanting them shoes since like forever. So we're gonna go to Five Guys. We're gonna give me a burger. I'm so hungry, y'all. But yeah. Ooh, excuse me. I'll be back to chat once I got my sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. So I just left Five Guys. And this is my first time eating Five Guys since forever, since like high school, really. I'm sorry if it's a little dark but i've just been crazy in here lately like i just really really wanted one but i just never realized that five with five guys burgers they literally charge your ass for every little speck honey damn i ain't getting no nephews oh well oh good because i'm like damn i forgot to tell them to put some cheese on this motherfucker but I do remember that burger being good, but I just don't remember having to pay for every speck. Mmm. Mm mm mm. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. I can definitely do it, okay? I got some fucking ketchup, but uh -uh. okay. The only thing is, shit, by myself, I spent twenty dollars by myself. That is absurd to me. So yeah, you gotta come on a day when you like hungry for real. <laughs> And buy yourself <laughs> because if you come here with somebody else you're spending at least 40 to 50 dollars not gonna lie and that's way more than fucking shake shack and i was having some shake shack for you this burger is hitting i should have asked for grilled onions instead of regular onions but it's fine uh oh but yeah i ended up getting the um the little cheeseburger the little see at first i said i want a bacon cheeseburger that bitch come with two patties i said oh no i don't want two patties 
So he was like, oh yeah. So you gotta say little burger if you just want one patty. So I got the little bacon cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. I just love a good burger, y'all. I don't think you understand. Mmm. Mmm. I eat like a pig. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I could eat a hamburger every day, I really would. I really would. Sorry if I'm talking you see the food in my braces. That's disgusting. And that's another thing. Like, I thought with braces, you can really just, like, eat like you want to. Baby, I still be eating just how I do. So, if you was ever thinking like that, I'm here to assure you or to affirm you, you still eat how you want. Just as long as you ain't eating nothing hard and it break your braces. I did pop my brace one time because I was eating chips. Being stupid. They was able to fix that in like two seconds. <laughs> And that's another thing I enjoy. Like, you able to get, like, unlimited fit. Like, if you pop or break one of your braces or your bracket, you able to just schedule an appointment, like, the next day. And be like, hey, can somebody fix my braces? <laughs> I think I'm going to end the vlog here and start it back up for the next week. Because, like I said, I got a doctor's appointment next week for my braces and for my three-month checkup. <laughs> and look what I'm eating. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And, you know, day to day, daily woes, working from home, all that jazz. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start my series from watching movies and stuff. Because that's pretty much what I do when I'm working from home. I watch a lot of TV series and a lot of movies, a lot of Tubi movies at that, a lot of hood movies. So be on the lookout for that. I'm changing up the name of it and everything, y'all. So it's not going to be called Movies and Makeovers anymore. <laughs> so. Cause I don't really do my makeup and stuff like that. I love Ruby. <laughs> I am one of them people that is keeping, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me, that is keeping root beer alive, honey. I love me some root beer. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm changing the name of the series and everything because I don't really do my makeup like that anymore. So, I'm going to just make sure I look cute and talk about whatever movie that I done watched at the moment. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that, y'all. That's the end of this vlog, y'all. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, all of that good, good, good stuff. I'm being such a fat bitch right now. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all in my next one. Mm -hmm. This burger fire. All right. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.